I think the most important thing to come from travel is just to have a better understanding of of the the world we live in. I mean, so often when we're say just at home and focusing on our own lives, there's sort of a bit of a bubble that that we live in. Um, we just left Friendly's guest house in Malati and we're going to the airport. We grabbed a taxi and demanded the meter so we get there for the right price. And um, yeah, we're gonna pick up the group. So usually we get the group from the airport on the first night and uh, people's been in transit for about 30 hours, maybe a little bit less. And then we bring them back to the guest house and everybody's really tired and they spend their first hours in a really hot country. We're looking for the group members. No idea. <laughs> and then they go up and shower and freshen up and you don't recognize half of the people that you just met. And then they like come down to either the restaurant or to the place that we go out to. And people just have like refreshed life. It's like they're in this country and like I want to see it now. Some people go to bed and they take it easy because jet lag and everything affects everybody differently. I'm gonna go and watch for a bunch of pasty Canadians walking down with big backpacks. Maybe we can just this is one of the craziest airports when it comes to terminals and picking up. Set up so bad you're not allowed to go past this barrier if the security guard doesn't give you like authority to do so. <laughs> Which it takes you three days uh, notice to get. So. Yeah. So you have to stand here, like we notified everybody to come over, like come over the first road, go down, come over the second road and meet us here. But it's just crazy, like everybody's standing here with signs and going like, yeah, we're looking for the people that just landed off some plane and they're not even sure what time. It's ridiculous. We found them. It went much smoother than last time, I can tell you that much. But they, most of the time there's a few people that see the sun come up and see the sun go down the next day too without sleeping and yeah it's awesome just seeing people taking in everything that's happening around them. I'm making fun of my very 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 soft voice. Uh, first night was awesome. Uh, like uh, it's rarely that you get pretty much all of the group going like yeah we'll go and have a shower take out some money and then go out. Uh, we had everybody, not one person went to bed, even though everything got running around 2 o'clock in the morning. Everybody came out with us and some people even stayed up later than we did. That uh, was sweet. Uh, we are organizing tomorrow's tour, just getting everybody together and after a very late night. <laughs> and off and checking out some history of the Philippines today. kind of weird seeing you come to Southeast Asia and there's you go to different countries and it's like there's a lot of Buddhism and a lot of temples and um, sort of that kind of religious aspect to it and then you come to the Philippines and suddenly you see a lot of churches and um, like Catholic a lot of crosses and um, it's good to go and do a trip like that so some people understand the, the Spanish colonization and then the Americans came after that and you see, you, apart from the tour, you see different shops that in the rest of Asia won't be as common. And just to get that tour and run through from when the Spanish came here and like how they... I can't say screwed things up. <laughs> Not allowed to say that when you talk about history. <laughs> yeah, so on the tour we do to Intramuros, it's interesting to get more information about why certain things might work in a different way than you thought it might be. So you get the colonization from different people and they um, introduced new things or other things to a country that's not used to it or is not supposed to be like that. But that gives you an understanding of why things work the way they do now.
still the right now. Uh, finally got everything sorted. And back, and I'm a little bit late. <laughs> so I'm just going down now and getting in the bus and getting the show on the road. Literally figuratively and metaphorically speaking. Uh, we're going up to Banawe, northern Luzon. And then tomorrow, a little hike to Batad. Can't wait to get in the mountains. Let's go out and stay up late. We can get together and sit around on the sun. And sing songs about the streets on the moon. Our friends back home and far away lagoons where we won't need any light. Where we won't 